Hey guys, welcome to the official character guide for Vega, where you will learn everything you need to know about the sweet whisper of death in Street Fighter V. Since Vega has a detachable claw, he has two sets of normals for his punch attacks. Claw Light Punch can link into his other light attacks for a small amount of damage. His regular Light Punch has the same combo potential, but it loses its range. With or without the claw, Vega's medium punch is a great all-around poke. His claw stand medium punch is a great range tool, with his jump medium punch being a great air-to-air -air attack. Unclawed, he gains some more combo potential. Crouching medium punch can link into his light punch, and standing medium punch becomes special cancelable. His crouching heavy punch can be a decent anti-air at far ranges. His standing heavy punch has decent range and is special cancelable. And his jumping heavy punch is a good attack while jumping in. His regular heavy punch becomes weaker, aside from his stand heavy punch, since this normal will give you the highest damage potential. Crouching light kick can link into your other light normals for a small amount of damage. Standing light kick is a great pressure tool up close, as it's long reaching and comes out quickly. And jumping light kick will be your cross up when jumping in. Crouching medium kick has the highest combo potential for Vega as it can link into all of his light attacks and most of his medium attacks. Stand medium kick is another good pressure tool up close and can link into your crouch light punch. And jump medium kick is a good air to air as it has long reach. Vegas crouch heavy kick slides at the opponent. This causes a knockdown, but if the opponent blocks and you don't space it correctly, you will get punished. Standing heavy kick will give you a crush counter on counter hit, but will whiff against opponents that are crouching and Jump Heavy Kick is another good attack to jump in with. Vega's front throw will put your opponent at mid-range, where you can use your medium punch to your advantage. Vega's back throw leaves your opponent at almost full screen, putting you at a space where your claw becomes most effective. Vega's air throw is high priority, so you'll want to use this whenever you can in an air-to-air -air battle. This is a quick overhead with long reach, and can score you some quick damage if the opponent is blocking low. This unique attack really shows off the strength of Vega's claw. This will also score a crush counter on counter hit, opening up some more combo potential. This is an easy target combo for some quick damage, where he can cancel into his V-Skill for some extra damage. Another easy target combo, but the Heavy Kick will whip against crouching opponents. The plus side to this target combo is Heavy Kick can cancel into any of his special attacks. Vega is one of the few characters that can jump off the wall. Use this as a means to get out of the corner or to confuse your opponent. Vega bounces off one of the corners and flies towards the opponent. This attack is great for mixing up the opponent, as it can be hard to see which side Vega will hit from. Depending if the claw is off, the hit state changes. If the claw is on, the opponent will go into a fall state. And if the claw is off, the opponent will remain standing. During his flying acrobatics, he can also go for a grab attack. You can grab the opponent in the air or on the ground. Use this to mix up the opponent if they block the flying Barcelona attack consistently. When Vega takes his claw off, he gets access to a command grab. The light version reaches the furthest, but is the weakest. Whereas the heavy version has the shortest range, but does the most amount of damage. Use this when you find the opponent blocking too much. Vega rolls a few times at the opponent. This attack is excellent as a combo ender, as a light version connects from his light attacks. Ending with the medium version from his medium attacks will leave you plus on block. And lastly, the EX version is projectile invincible. Vega spins backwards and slices into a direction. The heavy version slices up, the medium version slices directly in front, and the light version slices down, with the EX version having very long range and being thrown invincible. Vega equips or removes his claw. Using this after attacks reduces set attacks recovery, and also lets Vega switch between styles, which utilize different attacks. 
One important note is that when Vega does not have the claw equipped, all actions blocked do not count towards him losing his claw. Similar in start to the EX Flying Persona attack, Vega knocks the opponent up and then descends on them with his claw. You can use this to punish badly thrown fireballs, as this critical art is invulnerable to projectiles. If you're looking for a big comeback, try comboing this from your neutral V trigger. Vega spins around to avoid projectiles and all mid to high hitting attacks. He's projectile invincible for the duration of the spin, whereas the attack invulnerability wears off right before it ends. Vega can also attack if the V skill buttons are held continuously. Going into the attack, however, greatly reduces his invincibility frames. Vega has three different versions of his V trigger, each with a different use. The neutral version flies straight across the screen, and if hit, can't connect into your critical art. Holding down will angle the rows up, making it a great anti air. You can also use this while jumping forward in the air, making it great for punishing projectiles. Vega does one or two backflips depending on the buttons used. Use the version based on what you want to do next. Now that we got specials and normals out of the way, it's time to do some combos. Here's a few to get you started. To be effective with Vega, players must be prominent with both the claw and without the claw. Fighting long range battles, Vega will stick to his claw mode, where he can outrange the opponent with a stand medium punch and buster claw. For offense, it's time to take the claw off. Use your more combo friendly punch attacks to combo in your Crimson Terror or EX Barcelona drop for big damage. Mixing up these attacks with your command grab can make you a menace up close. Up close, Vega can be good, but it requires him to be clawless in order to apply the pressure. In mid-range, Sam Medium Punch and Buster Claw are some of the best pokes in the game. While he doesn't have a projectile, Vega has plenty of ways around them. Your Critical Art, EX Crimson Tear, and your V-Skill are all capable with dealing with projectiles. Lastly, you're going to want to use your Air Grab and V-Trigger to anti-air the opponent, as his normals aren't very good at anti-airing opponents. Now it's time for a quick recap. Vega is strong at any range on the ground, he's extremely fast, has a strong V skill, and a strong V trigger. He does, however, have low stamina and low damage output, and requires knowledge of both styles to be effective. He also has a hard time dealing with pressure with no invincible reversal. Thanks for watching, and remember, click character select at the bottom to check out the rest of the cast.